Hey, so I have been working on a couple of different Unreal games, and this is the first one I've put out. It's not really a game so much as like an educational tool, but basically what it is is you're in this giant thing. I'm kind of like going off of the like, I thought this looked cool. It's kind of like made me think of the holodeck from Star Trek, right? And all that's here is this desk with a computer on it. If you walk up to it, you get this. And it's a way to learn Lua, basically. So it'd be like, long term, the idea being you could like teach kids how to do stuff with Lua. So you can do basic Lua commands. So like, uh, global is a variable, right? So S, let's call it S. Um, now, I've got a few functions that I've added. Not many at the moment, but I'm going to add a lot more. So, like, let's make a sphere. And so, this will make a sphere. And that's a function call like that, right? So, the word, the name of the function, and then the arguments. And the only argument you can give it right now, although this will change, is the position for the sphere. So, let's put it at. 250, 250, 250. So that's your X, Y, and Z coordinate, right? So that's basically saying I want a sphere at 250, 250, 250. Now these are Unreal's units, which are just centimeters basically. And the desk is centered right at 000. zero, zero. So I do that and then I can hit evaluate down here in the bottom right and and then that should have made it. Why didn't it make it? Is it not global? S equals sphere two fifty, two fifty, two fifty. Is that right? Do I not just, I don't, I really don't write much Lua. Oh, there we go. So I guess global is not the word, right word. Okay. So then I'll exit this. And you can see there's this sphere just floating two and a half meters above my little guy here who's about six foot tall. So two and a half meters is about, well, just a little bit more than let's see it's about seven and a half feet I guess and since I saved it as s I can do things with s like move s to like 100 100 100 so s is that sphere because I said s equals that the last time around and these are just different XYZ coordinates so that'd be more like here so if I evaluate there it is now it's over here um, I can destroy S and I hit evaluate and it's gone. No more S. Um, let's see. I have capsules, cones, cubes, cylinders. I've got lots of stuff. Let's do cubes. Oh, and it's a programming language, right? So you can loop. So I can say for, let's do X from 1 to 10. Do and then for y also for 1 to 10 do let's do cubes um, I'm going to put it way over here a thousand plus x times 100 thousand plus y times 100 so I'm putting it um, 10 meters off and 100 off the ground uh, and then I think you say end yeah so uh, that should give me there you go and if I now look over here you can see they're cubes but since I don't have any space in them they kind of look like one giant wall right and so this is where it'd be kind of cool. You can 
basically build any, at the moment just static and at the moment just chrome, like this. Uh, everything's chromed. Uh, I'm trying to f figure out how I want the material interface to work. Um, so let's go back into that. So like for i equals, well let's do x, x equals 1 to 10, do. For y equals 1 to 10, do. Uh, sphere. Let's put this at um, one thousand plus x times one fifty. One thousand plus y times one fifty. And then I'll do it up a bit. So like two fifty. Yeah. And and so this will put a bunch of balls also sphere um, right above that. There you go. Let me get out of there. You can see, and they spaced them out a little bit more, so you can uh, see all that. And yeah, they're solid. So like, I actually can't can't get up there anymore now can I? Oh yeah I can. Okay. Cool. And I do have them enough where I can get in between. Cool. So I can't walk that way. If I could sidewalk I could maybe do it. But I can jump up on one and then come back in. So there you go. And I'm going to be adding a lot of things to this. But this is just the first go at it. I was trying to get fennel working too. It works on my machine, but like for whatever reason, I can't get it to um, do the cool stuff on the builds. The final shipping builds doesn't work, so oh, I might leave it at just Lua for a while anyway because I'm aiming this at not people who've been programming Lisps professionally for years and years like me. And there's a lot more documentation out there on how to do Lua than there is fennel, that's for sure. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see. You, you can get the player play position. So this is this will be a fun one. Uh, let's do cube at player position. So that's where I'm at, basically. Boom. And I can just keep on hitting that. And it's just going to push me out of the way because I have physics, but the cubes don't. For however many of these I want. Exit that. <laughs> so there's a bunch of these now. So I go back to the desk. Back to the old Commodore. Actually, can't even get where it'll let me get to it now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, unfortunately, I can't do anything because I don't have those objects. <laughs> I didn't save them, so they're kind of just in the way. But whatever. Um, I want to. What else is here? But yeah, there's a bunch of different shapes you can play with. You've got all of Lua. So at the moment you can basically just make interesting collections of shapes. Like you could do a sine wave of spheres or planes. You could build out stuff, but purely math, uh, purely mathematically. But I'm gonna add a lot more to this. And yeah, if you want to have fun with this, it'll be a nice little toy. I will share a link. It's on itch.io. And I'm sigor.itch.io. But I'll put a link in the bottom in the description of this video. And oh yeah, quit the game. There you go. Quit the game.